so you can see when I pressed the shift key to get the uppercase S immediately upon pressing the shift key it actually added a period at the beginning now I'm gonna go to another field did the same thing before I even touched the D or any other key on the keyboard immediately when I pressed the shift key it added a dot at the beginning okay now I'm going to demonstrate the other problem the original problem that the thread was about which is when I type a series of characters it could be short or long and then uh, I want to put a slash in so I have to go in here now did you see that? I don't know if you noticed that it automatically repeated the D that I had typed I didn't type two D's my, my finger was obviously nowhere near the D it happened when I pressed the question mark one two three shifter button now I'm going to go to another field and show you that again so I'm pressing keys pressing letters it ends with a D there's one D there now now I'm going to press this shifter it adds a D just by pressing that shifter button and I'm pressing that shifter because I have to also press that other one if I want to get in here to get something like the backslash which I don't need in this case but that's just a demonstration Okay, now I'm going to go to another field and show you the other problem once more where it's adding the um, the dot at the beginning when I press the regular shift to get a capital letter. And you see that? I'm going to go back one more time and show you the other one where it's duplicating the letter. So it ends in a U. I press this shifter, adds a U. And that's that.